His body is almost pure muscle, and he's using that muscle to constrict and basically crush the prey. Um, not only will this, you know, obviously, end his life and keep it from struggling, but it kind of does a little bit of the breaking down process ahead of time. It'll break some of those bones, make it easier to, to digest. Um, so after he's done doing that, he's actually going to let go of it. He's not going to swallow it from that position. He's going to let go of it once he's sure that it's dead, and then he's going to approach it from the head so that he can take it down long ways. Um, so that it fits through his body more easily. This is the time where we give him privacy because like a lot of people, he doesn't like being watched while he chews his food. So we're gonna cover him up with a little blanket. So this is after he's, you know, assured that the prey is dead and lets go of it, rearranges himself, and then goes at it head first. That way it doesn't, you know, you don't wanna you don't want to eat a hot dog sideways, you know. And this part of the process will only take five or ten minutes, and then that whole rat will just be gone. It's crazy you can see the, because the, you know, the jaw basically unhinges, so it kind of will move separately from the top of the skull. It's very bizarre. Good job, buddy. You're going to do two-finger touch like this down his hand. 